What's up guys, Tim Russwick here. Um, today I want to go over a series of landing pages that I think are really good. And if you don't know what a landing page is, essentially a landing page is like a one page website where that is designed specifically to sell your game. Now I'm gonna give you guys a template. I'm gonna show you a lot of um, landing pages that I think look really good. And you guys can basically just copy these pages. Don't copy like the actual code and the images, but copy the layout for your next page because the layouts that I'm going to show you are, are perfect. So um, even though I don't have an actual physical template to give you and, and link to download, I'm going to show you a template that a lot of different companies use. They use the same kind of methodology, the same kind of um, assets to actually build out their landing pages. Uh, and they end up looking layout wise very similar even though the graphic wise are very different. So let's get into it. Um, First of all, I want to show you Heyday, which is a game made by Supercell. Um, and this game has made a shit ton of money, okay? And look at this page. First of all, I just want to show you this. This is not a super fancy page. This is not a page that has 10,000 widgets and a bunch of shit at the top and some fancy text thingamajig and, and all that. This is a simple, super simple page. This game has made millions of dollars. I want you to understand that. So first of all, complex is not better in a landing page. Simple is better. Second of all, I want you to look at, this is the very top of the page, and I wanna to explain to you why this is important. Everything in this top window right here, everything that you see is, is what's called above the fold. Everything below here, down here, is called below the fold. And this is a concept that originates from direct mail. Uh, advertising because the concept is when they first open your envelope they're gonna see everything above the fold and you have to catch their attention above the fold and on the internet not only do you want to catch their attention above the fold but you also want to them to understand what they're supposed to do on that page above the fold and check out what this does install free on your mobile device boom 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 right there above the fold I go to this page I don't even have to scroll down and instantly I know what they want me to do. Now when I scroll down, I see a video, which I think this is a fantastic place for a video. The only better place for a video on this page would be right here, but in this case, at the very top right here. But in this case, they have a really cool image that I think works perfect. It kind of explains what the game is. Um, this is similar to what I meant in, in the press kit when I said header image. Uh, a big wide image like this that really kind of shows off your game is perfect. So they've got a trailer right after um, they have the download buttons. And then right below the trailer, they have a series of features. And that's all That's all this is. It says, get back to the land. Heyday is a farming game where you grow and customize your farm, trade crops and fresh goods, fulfill orders on with your truck, even by steamboat, build your own town and welcome visitors. Like that's all this is. They, they have five features. That's it. That's all they have there. And then they have, right below that, is a series of screenshots. That's it. That's the whole page. That's the whole entire page. They have some social links and their other games that here at the bottom. But this is seriously their whole page. Now, I want to I want to mention something that's really important here. If you notice across the top, there is no navigation. That is a hallmark of a good landing page because when you have navigation at the top, one of the things that people do is they click through, right? They click through the about, they click through contact, they they look at these other pages. If you have a link to your social media up here, that's even worse because then they click through Facebook and they get notified from their friend and their friend posts a YouTube video and they end up on YouTube and they're watching videos of cats when they should be looking at your page. Now, when you are sending ads to a page, you want to make sure it's a landing page like this that has no navigation because if you pay money per ad, and, and there's navigation at the top, people are gonna click through and they're not gonna do what you want them to do, which is install your game. Now that's a whole other subject for another video, but that's just a quick tip on uh, what landing pages are good for. So, Heyday, I would give, I would give a, a solid A minus B plus on, on their landing page here. Um, I think it's super simple. Um, the only thing that I would do uh, better is I would have the video right up top here and um, I would test whether or not it was autoplay, but I, I really don't think that'll make a big difference. So I, I would say A minus uh, pretty much for, for Heyday. 
Uh, so the next one is a game called Threes. You've probably seen this before. What I love about this landing page is that it's got an animated GIF. So kind of like Heyday, where I said they could use some movement or a trailer up here. Uh, this is even better. This is like the best of both worlds. They have animated uh, GIF right here. And then right below that, they have some of the awards that they've won, which is really cool. Um, the Apple Design Award, the IGF 2014, Apple's 2014 Game of the Year. Um, and then right here, when you scroll down, it starts to parallax. So you've got quotes from different people uh, with the parallax scrolling. And then you've got the download buttons right below that. Um, and then you have, I think this is merchandise uh, right below that. So I love the movement at the top. I do not love that I have to scroll all the way down to download the game. That is a major mistake, and I think they are losing downloads specifically because of that. Because look at how, let's say I want to download this game, right? Like, I, I don't know what to do or where to go. The parallax effect is, like, cool, but, like, that's easy to miss as I'm scrolling down. So, I would give this a B, B minus. I think it definitely needs to move these these buttons up uh, right above the fold like we talked about. Um, it doesn't have navigation at the top, which is great. Um... And it's got uh, the press kit at the bottom, which I think is really important. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really elegant, really simple looking landing page. So I think it's it's good. But above the fold buttons are really important. So remember that. Third up, we got a game called Butcher. And this guy is actually a fellow recruit in the underground. So um, I believe his game is on Game Dev Underground as well. So check that out. Tell him he's famous now because we featured his game in video. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, but the reason I show you this is because he showed me this landing page on our Discord chat, and I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I love the title and the tagline right here. It's right at the top. He's got the buy it now right below, right, right there above the fold, and then he's got four animated gifs of Carnage and like gameplay right here. So like, look at this, guys. I want you, to, I want you to look at this right now. I can look at the top of this landing page, and I know exactly what the game is. I know the theme of it. I know how how much chaos is involved in it. And I know it's on Steam, and I can one-click and buy it from Steam. That's the primary purpose of what a landing page is for. You want them to take action. In this case, it's buy on Steam. Uh, he's also got the soundtrack down here, which is... Which is uh, Okay, I don't I don't think it's necessarily needed, but I understand why he did it because he's selling the soundtrack as well next to it. Uh, but I love this this above the fold right here, um, and then he's got a Steam Workshop, which is really cool. And this is I think this is important too because of the way he's using the landing page. Uh, if people are searching his game on Google and they're finding his game, um, they they may be players of his game, in which case they want to join a group, which may, which makes sense. But I love this top part. I would give him definitely a B plus, A minus uh, because of this top part. This is like the perfect, I could not, even if he hired me to do marketing, I could not uh, make a better version of this. This is this is perfect. So uh, number four, we're going to go over Ridiculous Fishing's landing page. Um, so again, right off the bat, they've got the above the fold download buttons, which is good. They've got a trailer right here. It's inside a header image. So this is kind of what, what I meant about Heyday, is that they've got a header image and then they've got a trailer. These guys have a trailer inside of a header image, which is which is cool. The, the header image doesn't show a whole lot, which they could improve on, but the, the, um, the trailer right here inside the header image is pretty cool. Um, so in the right below, right below the download buttons, they've got a bunch of uh, quotes from people all over the web that have given them praise. This is really good. Social proof is really powerful. Um, I think they could have used a little more screenshots, uh, a few more screenshots on here, um, some stuff like that. So I would give these guys uh, B minus, C plus overall, because I, I think this top part is great. I think you could use a little more stuff there, and I think it could actually use some screenshots. Because remember, like, if, let's say I'm at work or something and I can't watch the trailer, I don't really know what this game is. So you gotta, you gotta prepare for that kind of stuff. Uh, the social proof is really great. They have a ton, a ton of quotes from a lot of different people. So I think that's awesome. They have links to a press kit at the bottom, which is cool too. Uh, so, 
C plus, B minus on this kind of landing page, but I like it. So number four, we're gonna talk about Broforce. I, I really like this page thematically. They have action right up front here on their header image, which is really good. It captures my attention, makes me wanna know more about this game. Right below that, they got a trailer and three screenshots, which is good. And this is something I went over in the press kit video, but I want you to notice that each three of these screenshots, they are ones from a jungle, ones from, it looks like an outdoor dusk setting, and ones from like an actual building setting. So there are three different settings. You want to make sure that they're not three images from the same setting, which look like they were taken seconds after each other, right? This is really important because that's really cool visually to see three different sets of of, of things there, of screenshots. So right below that they got about, and then they got um, some features for the game. Then they have the Steam and Humble Bundle links. Um, they got the Play the Free prototype right there, and then they got some awards that they've won below that, and some quotes from Eurogamer, Rock Paper Shotgun, etc. Uh, and then they got a little blurb about the team. So I... I love their top image. I really, I really wish their download links were right here, right instead of the trailer. I think that would make this close to a perfect landing page if their download links were right here. Um, that that would be all I have to add about that is just move the buttons above the fold. And I, it's it's insane how many people get this wrong, right? Like, is this, I mean, I, I realize it's a design choice, but like this makes such a difference in conversion it is ridiculous i have tested this with thousands of a b split tests you want your download buttons above the fold always so last but not least number six we're going to talk about monument valley um this is a fairly fairly popular ios game um i love this top part right so i mentioned movement and video right up in the header image and they do this this really well i love the movement right there i loved this it kind of shows you what the game is without actually doing anything um they have their app store link right there notice it is below the fold though it's slightly below the fold but it's below the fold right um right below that they got a trailer and they got their social links then they got a description of the game then they got some screenshots uh, then they got fan creations, press kit, etc. So, number one, I would definitely get rid of the um, the stuff across the top, the the navigation. Um, I understand why they did it, and if this is just a website, maybe that's okay. But uh, this looks like a landing page to me. So, if this is a landing page, if there's any paid advertiser going to here at all. I would definitely remove the navigation at the top. And second, I would move this button slightly above the fold, even though it looks less design-wise. design, design wise. Uh, It's necessary, man. It, it has such a conversion increase. It's it's crazy. Uh, so I'd give these guys B+, plus, maybe, B, flat-out B for their page. And did I rate Broforce? I would say they have a B, too. Um, but, yeah, so... So that's a basic landing page. If you notice, everything that I said in the landing page is consistent across all the different landing pages. Um, there's only really one great format to do it, right? Like if you if you have your download buttons above the fold, if you have a really good header image, whether it's animated or not, you've got a trailer below that, screenshots below that, a couple features, and then some social proof, you're good. That's all you need for a landing page. And the order really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is above the fold, there's no navigation, and there is download buttons with a call to action. You got your landing page. That's your that's your landing page template right there. So if you're thinking about doing a landing page, look at all of these links. All of these links will be in the description. I want you to take a look at these and copy some of these layouts if you're making a landing page for your game. Um, and like the press kit, uh, I am debating turning creating a generator for these kind of landing pages for Game Dev Underground. So if that's something that you want, please leave me a comment below because I'm really thinking about being setting up landing pages like this for your, your game because I think it's so critical, uh, especially with paid advertising, but also with just getting people to download your game. Sending them a page like this is like super simple. Like this is the one location where you send everybody because they can always get your game. They always know whatever device they're on, they always know how to get it. So this is super important. Um, Leave me a comment on what you think. Uh, if you have any landing pages that you love, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. Uh, once again, I'm Tim Ruswick, and I'll see you guys next time.